What's going on guys? We are back with another team of the year video. So let's get it. Um, under 23, as you guys remember from a while back, I made a prediction video about the under 23 first line prediction. We're going to scratch that whole idea because um, I decided to compress everything into one big pile, one big team. Um, because it makes it easier and I don't need to make 20 different videos about uh, who I think is going to be on each line. It's just easier if I make 3-4 videos on every single team of the year. So um, for that it's going to be easier for me to do it like that. And at least that way you guys can see what a whole team team of the year may look like. Uh, obviously it might not be accurate. But I guarantee you 80% of it, 80 to 90% of it should be accurate AF. So let's get it. Um, also, another thing, I put them all on the Oilers to make it easier. As well as I didn't play with their overalls because um, I think most of them will definitely get a 97 to 99 overall boost. But um, there may be a few that might get like 93, 94 overalls, but I don't see that many being under 95, I would say. So most of these guys are for sure going to be above 95 overall. So let's get right into it, guys. We are starting off with the offense. Oh my goodness. Also, another thing, guys, this year, I'm not too sure how EA is going to do this because from previous years, um, on the fourth line, they actually would always toss in some silver and some bronze cards on the fourth line of offense, the second line of defense, and then the backup goalie. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it this year, if they're going to just keep it NHL. I feel like that would be a better idea because no one really cares about the, the Euro League and all the other minor leagues because, to be honest, when you buy NHL, you buy it for NHL players, not other other kind of minor league players so no offense to those guys I mean they're so good at hockey but I rather have an NHL team of the year so anyways guys I put these guys on just um, just to be safe or just basically for insurance or whatever it may be but anyways starting off on the first line Connor McDavid basically third in points right now behind Kucherov and Malkin what can he do 20 years old franchise um, Patrick Laine, oh my god, as much as it pained me to give his Eve away, oh my god, on a 15 game point streak and scored his 42nd goal today. So, Patrick Laine is going to clinch that first line spot. Hopefully he chases that 50, that 50 bomb on uh, goals this season. So, hopefully he can get that done and him and Ovi can have a nice little rivalry for the next few years. And then Matthew Barzell, if you don't know his story, I don't know what's wrong with you. Oh my god, the most crazy part is this could have actually been a real lineup it, besides line A, but I mean, Matthews, or sorry, McDavid and Barzell. I mean, if the Oilers won the lottery too um, in 2016 and they got the first round pick, they would have got Matthews too, which is even crazier, but oh my god. I'm not even going to get into that because I'm just an Oiler fanboy. Anyways, second line, we got Barkov down the middle. I think I was generous. He may make the second line. But he will definitely make third line minimum for sure. He's had a great season with Florida. A lot of Panthers have had a really good season. But we also have Matthews and Eichel. Now, a lot of you guys may have a problem with this. You may say, oh, these guys suck. They only have 50 points. Well, I mean, in all fairness, Matthews has 50 points in like 53 games. And Eichel has like 54 points in 56 games. These guys are the future of the NHL. And it's, it's really kind of sad and it sucks because the only thing slowing them down are injuries if it weren't for those injuries I guarantee you these guys would be in top 10 scoring easy man these guys are amazing um, definitely two of the best players in the game right now to be honest um, and for that they're always gonna make team of the year under 20 under 23 team of the year for the next two years two three years because they're just that good Anyways, moving on to the third line. That's just my debate for that, though. Just saying. My opinion, some of you guys might think differently, but I think they're one of the best players. Moving on to the third line, though, we got Leon Dreisaitl, Brock Besser, and Miko Rantanen. Him and McKinnon tearing it up. Definitely deserves it. Leon had a rough start, um, but he's picked it up recently. He's at, like, 62 points, so I don't see why he doesn't get one. And for 8.5 million dry cider, you better be getting one. 
I mean, you think you're worth all that money. And then Brock Besser, baby. Future of Vancouver. Absolute beast at 20 years old. Oh, my God, man. The future of the NHL is going to be looking good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Him and Horvat will tear it up down there. Hopefully when the Sedins leave. But anyways, moving on to the final fourth line. Braden Point, Mitch Marner, Mickey Mouse over there, and Tivu Teravainen. Tivu Teravainen, Sebastian Ajo. And Carolina has actually surprised a lot of people this year. But um, Braden Point with Tampa. Great season playing with Kucherov and Stamkos. And then Mitch Marner has like 60 points as well right now. So he has really put Toronto on his back in the absence of Austin Matthews. So um, also there are a couple uh, honorable mentions for sure that I've made sure I put on. Uh, I don't have any for defense, but I have quite a few for offense. So we do have Nikolai Ehlers, Matthew Kachuk, Sebastian Ajo, Dylan Larkin. Uh, we're going to forget about Morgan Riley because he's actually 24, so I messed that up. And William Nylander. Um, and like I said, guys, it's one of those things, again, like Larkin and Kachuk could be on the team of the year, but they only have 50 points. And some of you guys might think I'm stupid because I just said Eichel and Matthews have 50 points, but these guys also have 20 more games played than them. So um, basically the other guys are a point per game while these guys are basically like a point eight per game, if that makes sense to you guys. Either way, they're not better than Matthews and Eichel. That's the reality. Unfortunately, sorry. Calgary and Detroit fans but that's the reality of it Nikolai Ehlers same thing like he's probably good he is good but he's not better than line a to be honest same with Nylander same with Aho. um Aho and Tara Vinen are actually head and head right now it's very debatable which one could actually make it you never know EA might switch it up you never know. Either way, guys, we are going to move on to the defense. Oh, and I don't even know what I'm doing. Starting lineups. Here we go. Defense, baby. Let's go. We obviously got Sergeyev and Jones. These two guys are the ones I think that will definitely get that 99 overall. Most likely Seth Jones, Sergeyev maybe 97, 98, and then Will Butcher and Provorov probably 95, 96 overall. Ristolainen and Darnell Nurse are a kind of iffy, maybe 92, 93 overall. Um, and like I said, I don't know if they're actually going to cut off the third line defense and put in bronze and silver cards. I don't know. I just put these guys in just in case. And uh, yeah, it's actually honestly really hard to find good like point producing uh, defensive men that are under 23 in the league is so hard because all of them are like either just turned 24 or just way older so it's definitely harder and then finally we got our goalies if you guys don't know who the goalies are by now at least the starting one you guys should know the starting one absolutely insane he might even win the Vesna. oh yeah Vasileski baby only an 84 though very surprising I do see him getting a 99 Matt Murray probably like a 90 94 95 ish I don't see him getting anything crazy although Pittsburgh's offense is disgusting I do see his offense getting a huge upgrade Vasilevsky 99 Matt Murray probably a 93 so that is an overall look at what the team most likely will be like I said this is probably not exactly like person for person um, but I guarantee you this is at least 80 to 95% accurate I would say um, for sure so with that being said guys yeah that's gonna do it for that that is basically what the offensive or sorry the under 23 I don't know why I'm thinking offensive these guys are just so good I don't know either way guys that is the under 23 team of the year so let me know who you guys think that I missed out on or who um, you think should have made the team that I didn't put on Remember, these are also the other guys that I basically put for honorable mentions. Um, yeah, I think this was pretty accurate. Um, the Chuck Larkin, yeah, I don't think they'll make it. Nylander, Ehlers, and Aho. Aho might be the one that might make it out of all five of these guys, but um, I would say most of this was pretty accurate. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below 
Was this a good prediction video? You guys think I'm pretty accurate? I don't know. I think this was good. Either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash a like, because why not? And uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.